Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new uh, makeup video. This is drugstore and uh, perhaps that I am about to finish uh, and uh, would I repurchase them again. Uh, so if you want to see which I will definitely buy, uh, keep watching, uh, like, subscribe my channel, comment. Let me tell you uh, how much I love these lenses from Just For Kira uh, that I uh, collaborated uh, some time ago. All the products will be uh, down below in my description box as well as always. If you are uh, interested in purchasing any of them, uh, uh, and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into makeup. Hey guys, I have uh, some products uh, that I have big dent on and I'm going to finish, I think, very soon. So uh, this uh, today it is makeup tutorial, get ready with me kind of uh, products that I'm using up. Will I repurchase or not? So yeah, let's get uh, into this is only palette that I hit pen uh, pen actually few pens on as you see this one this one and this one uh i used to love this palette uh i still love it and i think this is one of the best from catrice um uh, i will start with my brow this pencil from catrice this is a uh, catrice cinematic ultra precise uh, brow pencil this is it has a really tiny tip uh and it's easy to work with i feel like they changed formula maybe lately it's more dr on the dry side I get through this uh, really quick and because the tip is so precise it's easy uh, to uh, see I just broke uh, it just broke I don't like that uh, it didn't used to happen before um, so I don't know what it is if they change the formula Another product that I'm finishing, which is this e.l.f. Camo uh, Concealer. This is really good drugstore uh, concealer, guys. Setting finish, uh, I would say a full coverage. You don't need a lot. Just tiny bit because I say it is really, really good. A very full coverage concealer. I have many concealers now, also high-end uh, concealers, so... I am not going to uh, repurchase it straight away, but yes, this is one of the best uh, from the drugstore. So I'm going into the uh, palette and I take this shade called Wine Wind. I'm going to set the concealer before it creases. I will just do regular my kind of everyday uh, smoky eye. I go for shade uh, Gravity. It's a nice transition shade. Just few uh, shades darker than my skin tone. So it is still available to buy. Uh, I don't think it is like limited edition, but I don't know if I stole it in the in the store actually. So I'm not sure. But this is uh, one of their best uh, um, quality wise. They have like really uh, similar this kind of uh, slim. Uh, it is called slim eyeshadow palettes are uh, many versions and they are not always as pigmented uh, so uh, but this one is really nice if you like warm tones um warm tones and uh, neutral kind of palette everyday palette but can you can like really glam things up with this palette so oh it's really see so pigmented i just use tiny bit definitely bit um and you have also some cool shades uh cool tone shades so i love this because uh, this, what i like usually with my looks i like to have warm and cool tones and i like to mix them up uh, on my look i don't usually just like to have warm tones on my eyes so um, i don't know if it makes any so i'm going to take this shade cosmo topi uh brown a light kind of medium brown shade and i will make it less warm with this shade i take the earth shade it's beautiful this is warm tone brown and it's a really stunning shade Do you like uh, drugstore brands? 
like I do uh, this is shade cat, uh, eclipse and I hit the pen on this one definitely I love that you have um, transition middle shades dark shades uh, matte shades uh, glitter shades um, here's everything you need I don't need to go to another palette I think handy to have only one palette I never used the shade Supernova, I think. Uh, this is too dark also for me. I love this uh, lightening shade and the sparse shade. Sometimes I used also the gold one, but I mixed that one usually with the lightening. I will take uh, the gold shade. really good oh and it goes nice it goes shade with the green eyes but i take the shade lighting you know i love the you know i love ombre kind of effect ombre eyeshadow like this i just blended a lighting shade in the uh, gold shade these are the 20 hour ultra precision gel eye pencils from catrice they are waterproof well they are long lasting i'm not sure if waterproof but i really like these i repurchase them and all the time like this is really cheap and it works i'm going to use this essence lash without limits extreme lengthening um, mascara this is really nice they have it in brown actually i want to try it in the brown uh, because this is nice just give you the volume uh, if you build it up. I usually don't because I go for forces anyway. I will quickly apply the other one and I'm going to be back quickly to... Uh, so uh, overall, yes, I would definitely purchase this uh, Catrice eyeshadow. So yeah, this is Catrice Goodbye Pores. Uh, uh, primer and uh, I have this a really long time and I am going to finish it really soon there is not much left and this blurs pores uh not sure about the long like if that makes your uh, makeup last it's, it it makes the makeup last long but it blurs uh the pores definitely definitely i repurchase this it are too much nude uh, plumping tinted serum uh looks like this mine is in the shade 0 0.52 uh, very light and uh as you can see i'm almost done with it uh i really liked it really really liked it but i like to try new products i will probably repurchase it uh in the future but not like straight away because i also love my um uh, maybelline tinted serum uh foundation and uh maybe i like it even more than this actually um because it has more coverage i feel like than this one um, but this is really nice, especially for somebody who is dry, who has dry uh, skin. Uh, this looks beautiful and uh, glowy, easy to blend, easy to use, uh, looks natural, uh, but has more like uh, lighter coverage. I'm going to take the same um, concealer and use a tiny bit here. I will use tiny bit here. Maybe it's even too much, uh, but I say it's full coverage. Full coverage, guys. Look at that. Look at that brightness. Like, it's gorgeous. I will definitely get this in the future. What I have next, uh, I have another cream product, this is a She Glam uh, contour, I don't know how much I have left, not much because I use it really often, I have second one actually, so uh, yes, I will definitely buy this again, this is lightweight, uh, easy to blend, um, and it's hard to find a really good shade, uh, like contour shade.
from Essence Grating Up Banana Powder. I really, really love this, but I like to use it after I use already um, some setting powder. So uh, we're going to do that after. I think I just broke it. It's really cheap uh, plastic. Uh, <coughs> um, yeah, packaging is not good, but uh, the product itself is great. Uh, I take just a little bit and I use it right here, just in, in a corner. If I want, I don't use it every day, sometimes just if I think, especially right here, I get sometimes a really dark corner of my mouth because I have darkness here. So around the nose sometimes, tiny bit, but yeah, I repurchased this already actually before and I have a pickup uh, so much I like it it's like three watch my if you watch my videos then you know uh, this is the palette face palette from Catrice contour three steps to contour palette and uh, I hit uh, both uh, bronzer and uh, the contour shade not this much uh, this is quite dark for me uh, still uh, but um, these two shades I'm I love and yes I would repurchase it will I straight away no because i have a lot of um, other products in use but i would definitely repurchase this in this in the future because this is outstanding product but trying different things on youtube uh, i don't think you guys want to see me use always the same but i try to switch things uh, but yeah how how pretty it is this uh, contour shade only that uh, highlighting shade I don't really like on myself, but if you are darker, a little bit skin tone, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I just use tiny bit. I think I don't have blush uh, that I am hitting pen on. Uh, not so much blush person. Lately, I like using blush more, spring and summer, so, um, but I am not like obsessed with blush like i know some people love blush i'm more like obsessed with eyeshadow palettes that is my thing and the eyes focusing on eyes but also complexion actually now finish my under eyes very quick over the camera and i will come back last thing i applied my lip liner i don't have anything that i am like finishing up or my, that i'm close to finish but i have um doesn't maybe fit this makeup look because the eyes are bronzy but I talk a lot about these lifter Maybelline, Maybelline lifter lip glosses. I love them. This is one of the best drugstore uh, lip gloss for me. Uh, and I'm running out of it and I have backup already because it's so much I love it that I want to have it uh, in my makeup collection uh, again. There is nothing even close to this. I feel like they are nice drugstore lip glosses. I have my other favorites, but this is just uh, another level. And I never finish lip gloss, uh, never. So this uh, says a lot. It's not sticky. It's just so juicy and I love it. Uh, finish my crazy hair and I hope it will look uh, decent. And I will come back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, let me tell you how much I love the hair. I just wish this would stay all day long, which it will. It will go away after in one hour i have half of what i have now but i'm so obsessed and i will keep doing this because of just the feeling for one hour but how crazy it is like uh, and i love love these uh lenses uh with this makeup look so these are the products that i will definitely repurchase and i recommend to you guys let me know if you have any of them or if you are interested in any of them and um yeah that's everything i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in my next video bye